All right, we're going to do just a little more review with uh, chemical and physical changes before we take a little quiz, and that'll be your uh, your last assignment for the week. That'll get us into the weekend. So let's just take a look at these. We got to find, pick up these little aliens, and they each have like a statement with them. We got to put them in their right uh, ship. So let's see, glass shatters. Okay, so glass shattering. Okay, you take a glass and you break it. Well, still glass, right? So we know that's going to be physical change. So I'm going to show you what happens if we try putting them in the wrong one. Let's put them over here in the chemical one. Nope, it won't let them go in there. So this will tell us, make certain we get them in the right one. So we already knew this one was physical shattering glass. Yep, he enters. Let's see, salt dissolving in water. Uh, we've talked about this one before. Okay, so salt... Uh, water takes it, disperses it throughout, but it's still salt, it's still water. You can boil the water off, the salt remains behind. It's physical. Water droplets form on a cold glass. So it's almost summertime. Okay, think about sitting out on your deck with a nice tall glass of iced tea or ice cold lemonade. Okay, and the glass gets sweaty. Okay, well, what that is, it's the cold glass. There's humidity out in the air in the summertime. Okay, and that humidity, that water vapor that's in the air, when it touches that cold glass of iced tea or cold glass of lemonade, that water is going to condense. Well, that water condensing is physical. It's still water. It's just no longer water vapors. It's not liquid water. Burning wood. Okay. We've talked about burning wood before. Smells different. There's light. There's heat. Okay. You can't get the wood back. All those things are indicative of chemical changes. Rusty iron. Okay. Think about an old car sitting in a junkyard. Okay. It's metal's no longer rigid. It's reddish brown and powdery and crumbly. You touch it, it breaks apart. You can't get the iron back out of rust. It's chemically changed. The smell of perfume wafts across the room. You guys have been around somebody that had way too much perfume on. You could smell it clear across the room. Well, just the fact of you smelling it's not changing the fact that it's perfume. All right? It's just your nose identifying certain aromatic compounds, certain molecules of certain shapes. It smells physical. Fireworks exploding. Love the 4th of July. Heat, light, smells, sounds. All those things are indicators of chemical changes. Wood being chopped into logs. Okay, me taking logs and chopping them into small pieces. I just did this today. Tonight, I was out there outside my yard at an old tree stump. I cut it up with a chainsaw. Okay, there's all kinds of sawdust in my yard now. Guess what? It's still wood. It's still cellulose. Just no longer in a stump form. I physically changed it. Still wood. Rock is crushed. Once again, you know, taking a hammer and breaking a rock up. It's still made of the same minerals. Physical. Adding sugar to your tea. Okay? So, adding sugar to the tea. I mean, it's still tea. still sugar. You could separate it. It'd be tough, but you could do it. Physical. Car engine burning gasoline. Okay? Definitely heat. There's light. You can't see it because it's inside the engine. But anytime you're burning gas, it's giving off new substances. It's chemical. Air in a hot air balloon is heated so that it can take off. Okay? Well, as it uses the fuel to, you know, use that blowtorch thing, uh, this isn't talking about the blowtorch. It's talking about the air trapped with inside the balloon. The air itself doesn't change except for it starts moving around faster. It expands. becomes less dense. It's still air. It's physical. Lightning changes some of the oxygen in the air to ozone. Uh, if you've ever been near an ozone or by a lightning strike, you can smell it. Okay, Ozone has a particular order. I don't, I don't know how to describe it. Once you've smelled it, you know what it is. But uh, ozone is just a form of oxygen. It's a triatomic form. So normally oxygen is O2. You guys probably remember this is from your days as biologists. But uh, lightning strikes will turn it into O3. And believe it or not, even though it's still oxygen, 
That's a chemical change because its formulas change and it has different properties. You can breathe oxygen. Oxygen isn't bad for you. Ozone's poisonous. You're not supposed to breathe it. Uh, that's one of the things they use to sterilize. You know, if they have natural spring water and they don't want to put like chlorine in it to kill any microbes, they'll bubble ozone up through it. And that ozone will kill those microorganisms. Grilling a hamburger. Okay, anytime you're cooking, that's going to be a chemical change, right? Otherwise, you just eat it raw. It changes the hamburger. So grilling it, chemically, you cannot get the raw hamburger back. Digesting food. Once again, we've talked about this already. Enzymes and acids and things in your digestive system break down molecules into smaller, more easily absorbed pieces. Bleaching your hair. Uh, believe it or not, it's not actually using bleach. It uses hydrogen peroxide. But regardless, changes the color. Chemical change. And there they go. Thanks for reviewing.